Hey guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I want to show you how to use sky overlays to create dreamy sunsets in your pictures using Photoshop. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is place a sky overlay over the picture that you're working on. I'm going to be working on this picture right here because there is a huge spot where it's just all white and needing a sky. So to place your sky overlay, you're going to go up here to File, click there and go down to Place Embedded, and from there you're going to choose your sky overlay. Now, if you've taken a picture of a sky on your own, you can place one of your own. I'm going to be using a sky overlay from the Morgan Burke Cinematic Skies Collection. I really love this um, number 36, this one, so I'm going to select this one. Um, she's got some great free sky overlays over on her site too, so I'm going to link to where you can get some free sky overlays in the description below and also over on my blog. I'll show you exactly where to get some great freebies. Now, once you have your sky overlay placed, you're going to just click and move it to exactly where you would like it to be. Now on this photo, if I move this one up, I see that the light's coming from behind him. I can see that from how it's kind of hitting his hair. And if I look at the mountains, it looks like it's setting right in between where these two mountains meet. So I want to make sure that I've got some lightness right in that area. So I'm going to place my sky overlay right about there and then just double click to place it. Now, once you have it placed, what you're going to do is you're going to change the blending mode of that sky from normal to multiply. And that makes it much easier for you to see that skyline. And by changing the blending mode to multiply, it really blends the colors in nicely to the background and creates a little more natural of a look. Now, I know right here it doesn't look natural because we have this big line right here in the middle. So let me show you how you can get rid of that. With the sky selected on your layer, we're going to choose a layer mask by coming down and clicking this box right here. And a layer mask pops up. And you can see that it is selected. It's highlighted around there. I'm going to make sure I have black selected and choose a brush. And I'm going to make sure that brush is at 100% opacity to start with. And I'm just going to increase the size of that and I'm going to erase that line right there. Now I want this to gradually kind of fade in toward the sky. So I'm going to change the opacity now maybe to about 50%, increase the size of the brush just a little bit, and I'm going to go across that line again. So you can see I'm slowly kind of fading up toward the sky. Now I'm going to do that again, but I'm going to lower that opacity even more, maybe 16%. And I'm going to take that brush now right along the skyline. And what that's going to do is it's going to leave some of these colors in the sky and in the mountain but it's going to lighten that skyline too. And on a natural horizon, the sky is going to be lighter right at that horizon than it is farther up in the sky. Now, if you're using a sky overlay that has more texture or clouds in it, you're going to want to make sure that you eliminate that and you're probably going to have to increase the opacity of the brush. But here, I really like how that gradually comes up, but leaves a little bit of color from that sky and makes it look a little more natural. Now, from here, I could leave it just like this. I think it looks really nice, but I kind of want to make it really dreamy and dramatic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, right click on that layer, and I'm going to choose duplicate layer. And that's going to duplicate that sky, but also that brush gradient that we just did so I don't have to do it again. So I'm going to hit duplicate layer, OK. And you can see that doubled it. So now it's a lot deeper and some of that color is still coming in through the through the mountains. Now on this second one, I think it's a little bit too much for me. I do like how dramatic it is, but I don't want it quite that dramatic. So on my second copy layer, I'm going to take that opacity and I'm just going to drop it down, I don't know, maybe to 43%, just like that. 
Now that looks pretty dreamy like that, but I wanna show you one last thing you can do to add a sun in to make the sunset really gorgeous. Now, if you don't have a sun coming through on your sky overlay, you can just create one. So I'm gonna come back up to the top and I'm gonna choose layer, new, layer. Okay, and you'll see we have a new blank layer that pops up. We're gonna paint a sunset in here, right at this area where the sunset was already naturally falling down. I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna choose a color that I want my sunset to be. So probably like a yellow, orange, red, somewhere in this range I'm going to choose. And I think this color range looks pretty good. I'm gonna start by selecting one of the darker ranges of orange. So I'm gonna click on that one and click OK. I'm gonna make sure my brush is set to 100% up here, and I'm gonna make that brush really big to start. So maybe just like this, and I'm gonna place it over my photo right where I want that sun to be, and I'm just gonna left click once. Then I'm gonna go back over to my color, and I'm gonna click on that again so I get the same exact orange tones, and I'm gonna choose a color that's kind of in the middle, so not quite as dark and not white, but right in the middle there, and click OK. Now I'm gonna bring that brush over to the first spot where we added that color, and I'm gonna decrease the size of it a little bit. And I'm just gonna click once. Now one more time, I'm gonna click right over here on the, the colors, and I'm gonna choose one that's really light, almost white, and click OK. Now I'm gonna make my brush even smaller, and I'm gonna place it right where I would want the sun to be, right in the middle, and click once. Now this is looking pretty cool, but it might be, once again, a little too dramatic. I want it to be a little more natural, so with that layer selected where we painted the sun in, I'm gonna change the blending mode from normal to screen and that blends it into the sky and creates a real beautiful dreamy sky and sunset. Now, if it's a little too much for you, you can always take the opacity of it and drop it a little bit if you wanted to, and I think that looks really beautiful as well. Now, I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna select all three of these and group them together just so you can see the difference with and without. So here it is with our dreamy sunset and here it is without. So you can see that was pretty easy to create a little extra pop in our photo and make the sunset super dreamy. Once again, if you wanna get your hands on one of the freebie sky overlays from the Morgan Burks collection, you can do that by clicking right in the link in the description below, or just head over to cozyclicks.com forward slash sky, and I will show you how to get yours. Now. If you do try this tutorial today, I would love to see how it comes out. Tag me over on Instagram at CozyClicks so I can check out what you've been working on. Thanks so much for watching today, and I would love if you would subscribe to the channel where I will be adding new tutorials all the time. Thanks again.